Greetings, General Bean. Nightingale here. I'm back with more far changing tides. Lift off. Just getting out of the tunnels. Having just gotten the ancient power. Raised, uh, used ancient powers to raise up a city that definitely wasn't anything related to Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, and should be getting close to the end, so I don't know how long this so it's going to be. I had to cut off the last one because I had to go to work, but this one let's see, where do I need to put it down? Forward just a little bit. Take us down. I'm going to see where I end up. Should be getting close to the end, I think, just because the couple of uh, achievements that I got were the ones like get the all the buoys and stuff like that. So okay, I gotta stop this now for a second. Give us a minute. Here, go see what's down there. Cause that radar is showing me something down. What am I seeing? Oh, what are you? Oh, okay, I'll grab this obviously, but. Obviously, there. It's like, what was that thing? What am I hearing? I think because they're giving me stuff, I still got a little ways to go. Because I'd be pretty sad if it was like two feet from the end of this right where I was at. You, what are you? Here's something new. Okay, so that was all the things, but oops, got too much stuff built up here. I don't want to drop it yet because I want to see what this is. Well, I'll go up this way and go around. something? It looks like a compass. Do I have a compass spot? Can I set up a compass somewhere? Is that it? <laughs> Just open the sunroof in my submarine, you know? Is there a spot for a compass somewhere? I look like that gauge. But you. Yeah, well, that's just for that. I don't know. You can go here. Now, where am I? <laughs> up, down. Is there an up? Oh, there's something. Okay, hold up, hold up. There's something there. Alright, give me a sec. I have to back up. I didn't realize there was something right there. I don't know what that's gonna do. Back up a little. Come on. Okay, hold up. I was looking up a neutral. Turn off for a sec. Oh, I said neutral. Not forward. Ah. <laughs> back, 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 back. Back up. go. <laughs> There's a hook thingy there. See that hook thingy? And if I can get this to let go of it real quick. Any second now. <laughs> wow, you're really not letting go. Uh, give it. Give it. Might be that way. 
Nope, never mind. Cut it. Stop. I suppose we could go forward a little bit. This is becoming a little convoluted, but we'll make it. Does it move if I just hit it once? I guess not. Gotta get that little extra to get the rent to go up. Yep. There we go. Can I go forward? Can now. Alright. For that. <laughs> Grab that. Down we go. Here she's just stop. Where was I? There it is. Link. That looks like something important. Can I reel it in? How's this gonna work? something. And what did I just do? Pulled it off. Is there a point to that? What did I just do? It's sinking, obviously. Is there a point to this thing? Guess not. Hmm, I thought there'd be some point to it. Unless that wasn't supposed to happen. So what did I just It's just a way for the ship to go? Oh I see it's a ship birth thing. Gotcha. jump for some reason. Ugh, let me go. Oop. Oh well. Yeah, my laser thing came back on for a second there. No, it's gonna take us down. It's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> We're too far forward now. Back. Back. Good enough. Take it off too early. I just want to sink. Let me sink. Let's take it off too early. Okay. Back us up. Down a little more. 
Perfect. Nailed it. We're in. Ah. And it attached to my energy thing. So steam? Do I need steam? Because it looks like it's a... Yeah, that's why I thought it looks like a balloon. It's a steam. Full steam ahead. There we are. Haha. -ha. Wall. Gotcha. We hey, we've gone everywhere in this game. <laughs> we're a boat. We're a submarine. Now we're a hot air balloon, apparently. Gone to ooh, waterfalls. Achievement unlocked. Aeronaut. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. We. <laughs> Just love the scale of that image. <laughs> huge waterfalls. It's like I don't think there's anything like that. I'm trying to think where there'd be something like that on our planet. Probably not. Unless there's some like crazy spot where ice is melting. Oh, and we're back. Well, I mean, I'm in the air now. Oh. We have superpower because. Or do we? Nope, we need a little more. Just to do it. Come on, power. Nope, did I run out? Really? Ran out of fuel right there? Pain. Eh. Eh. <laughs> We're still flying. Are we going somewhere? Oh, we're still, are we sinking? What's going on? I think I need to keep giving it fuel to keep us airborne. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Well, that's the case. going. Haha! -ha. Forward! <laughs> I just want to see what it does, if anything. Nice that the balloon's a little... <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> okay, it didn't do much. I was curious if it would like... Give me, like super flight or something. Alright, so we gotta keep giving it fuel. Fair enough. That's fine, I got plenty of fuel. It was giving me radar there, so I don't know what I was supposed to be finding, but... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So that's just terrible. Oh, here we go again. More radar. What are you showing me, radar? Nothing. Ooh. So we coming up on anything? Yeah, just more scenery. Is there any wind? I don't think so. Well, there is wind. Can I get the sail going with this? I didn't think about that. I can, but I gotta make sure I'm getting... How's the fuel going? We still got power? More power? There we go. Get our flight going. See if I can't get some more speed. Coming up on mountains.
does it work? Looks like it works. All right. Give ourselves a little more speed then. Oh, we're sinking. Apologies. Coming down. Sails out. Prepare for landing. Yep. Hey, what just flew off? Oh, that was part of the thing. Okay, I was going to say, what just flew out of my ship? And we're out. We'll use some of the fuel. Checkpoint. Get that wind going. Woo. Ooh, plants. Hey, I have one of those. I recognize those plants. Says anything. Continue on. More of the plants. I have one. Is it getting sunlight right now? Ooh, ah, it is getting sunlight right now. Good. Radar kicked in something out there. Uh, it just does that. I think it's just when I get the thing up and running, it just does a quick little peek real quick to see. Hello! There's a lot of little cargo things out here. And tons of the plants. Oh, I hit a checkpoint. What am I looking at? Uh-oh. <laughs> Found it! Enough of that. Ah. Oops. My little compass thing. No. Oh, it's out. Okay, good. Oh, lost my lamp. Just knocking everything over. You, get back up here. You on there. My little compass thing so I don't lose you on accident. And up we go. We're still getting wind. Hello? Anyone here? Found your boxes. Okay, it shows the blimp that I was just in. So I gotta put something in there. Ooh. Hi. There's a thing to put into it. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So we take this. Bend. Okay, that gave some energy. Oh, there's the other one. I think I could have more. Better. All right. Don't know what this one's gonna do. Ah, it moves it. Gotcha. All right. I see. I see. And now we signal. Yes. Ah. Gondor calls for aid. <laughs> Hi. Is that somebody signaling as well? There's another fire. I see a signal fire. I think 
we finally found somebody. Hello, bird. Do you know what this means, bird? Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go all out on this one. Or at least get my sail back up and running. Gotta make a good first impression. Look at my beautiful sail. Look at it. It feels so weird with having this go in, in the opposite direction. Still got a ways to go, huh? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put her back up. Because there is a little bit of wind. It's not much. But I just don't feel right not having the sail going. Oh, now it's back. Okay. Go forth. There we are. I don't know why I died for a second there. see something. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, wait, I remember. You lit a signal fire at the end of the first one. Right. Ah, I see. Hello. That's right. You lit a signal fire at the end of the first one, and you got a horn blow at the end. Arrival. Hi. I don't know why he jumped in the water. Yep. <laughs> Is that on purpose? He kind of walked forward and said, Hi, I'm supposed to, we were probably supposed to be looking at each other, but I feel like the game is just like, you know what, jump in the water. <laughs> it's like on the one side that was interesting, but on the other side it's kind of sad. 
because you didn't actually find anybody. You just ran into each other. Yeah, I think I think my guy wasn't supposed to jump in the water, but <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Explains why they changed the direction. It's supposed to be you coming to meet yourself again. Yep, and that's the bar changing tide. Interesting. Kind of sad though, because you didn't really find it. You were like, you didn't find anybody going your direction. He didn't. He found you, I guess. But. <laughs> Climbs on board the ship. I see. Now, is there going to be an after credits thing? That's going to be the question. Still have so many questions. They did a pretty good job of adding some world building into this one. Yes, yeah, so there's you looking at the old ship. Kind of gave an idea of what happened. There was the ancient city doing, using all their power and everything, and, and it doesn't tell exactly what happened, but there was an earthquake, which apparently is what caused the flooding, it seemed like. So they made the cranes and started making all the stuff. But then all the people tried to head out north, maybe? Because uh, you were in the Northern Passage. And then it didn't seem like you had all the wrecked boats everywhere in both directions coming here. That's showing. Oh, it's just them meeting each other at different angles there. Okay, maybe you started to repair the ship? Seems like it's telling a little story here. Meeting, or is it just showing it from different angles? I'm not sure. Huh. What's the next picture going to be? Anything? Oh, they left. Alright. left together. Off to more adventure. But yeah, it seems like everybody had this goal to head either looking for the ancient town or they went there. I'm not sure. You got, the, you got the city back up and running, but getting back there would be a bit of an issue. It's just everybody tries to head north and don't always run into each other. All in all, not a bad game few parts were a little slow. I, I don't know what I was thinking. It's not really set up to be an action game. It's just that there seemed to be a lot of like in-between periods where there just wasn't really much happening. Whereas other times there seemed to be a lot of good world building going on. So, But there were some good parts like seeing the jellyfish and the whales going by and stuff like that. That was all neat to see. The deer, caribou, elk, 
whatever they were. <laughs> Still don't know which breed of deer heart type animals they were. <laughs> But yeah, it was like, could have been some other things going on, but you had like the random tsunami that, I mean, I guess that's just supposed to be what happened and why everything's destroyed, but it seemed like it didn't do much. Like, that didn't happen again anywhere else. I don't know. But I like some of the more of getting to see more of the world. A lot of the puzzles areas were letting you see a lot of the different buildings and structures that they had. and Kind of gave you an idea of how at least that ancient civilization kind of did things before all this happened. The world's clearly gone like a steampunk version where they kept going with steam. And then they apparently invented this ancient energy, which it never really explains exactly what it is, but... Obviously, it was some derivative of steam energy. Something we probably don't have. Then they just wanted to have a booster in the game, but you know. <laughs> it would be interesting to have a world like that that was just... Uh, it be steam instead of fossil fuels, basically. Although they did have fuel canisters, so it's not completely no fossil fuels, but I think the idea would just be you go steam, and then obviously they invented something that was their ancient power boosting, but if you think about it, you would still have eventually tech tree would take you to nuclear energy because nuclear plants are basically just giant steam turbines. So it would still work for a civilization. So that's kind of neat. I don't know. I always like all the steampunk and stuff like that. Part reason why I chose to check out these games. Because they seem to be pretty heavy into that. If there's anything, I just wanted to explore it more. I wanted to know more. Tell me more. I need lore. Give me the deep lore. All of it. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me a story. <laughs> But yeah, I think overall, I like the game. It was just a little slow in some parts. They could have filled it in a little bit in some areas, but I like that they tried to do more with the world in this one. Try to show you more things, more places, give you a little bit better idea of what type of society made all this to begin with. And unfortunately, as far as we could tell, there weren't really anybody left. So the character from the first game, you find the creator dead in that ship there, so that was kind of depressing. It's like, I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll be later, but no, it just turned out it's the exact same thing. So now, at least you knew who they were, because you recognized the picture. But then what? They just tells him, well, yeah, I found him. He's dead. So, it means the character from the first game doesn't quite get his resolution or whatever, or then maybe you could take them to the body. Although I don't know how you'd even get back there from that point. And then the second character was looking for more people and just finds another person that's looking for people and doesn't actually find, while well, he did find a city, <laughs> he didn't actually find any actual survivors. So I don't really know where they go from there. I suppose if they ever make a third game. I suppose they could do a co-op for the third game now, each play one of the characters. So, try to actually find where the rest of the civilization went to, although I don't know which direction they head in now. Because you were apparently all heading to the North Pole area. So south, I guess? Uh, I suppose you just would pick in east or west compared to where we were. Hmm. Of course, they already... They did air, land, and well, they did land in the first one. They did sea, under the sea, and air a little bit at the end here of this one. So here, the next one will be an airship completely. 
maybe a space eventually. That would be probably the last ship type they haven't used. So probably mostly, if they made a third one, I guess, air into a, eventually you find a space method or a low orbit or something. Hmm. Let's see if they ever make one. Hmm. Now I just want to know if there's anything after the credits. If you stuck with me so far listening to my ramblings, thank you for watching the video with me. Oh, of me, with me, eh, yeah. it was pretty much watching the game with me because a lot of it was just scenic. <laughs> eh. While we're waiting, feel free to hit that subscribe button, maybe like the video, maybe write a comment out real quick, gotta feed those algorithm gods, they get hungry. Very demanding. Huh. And looks like we might be at the end here. Let's see. pages of small text, <laughs> fine print, open font, there's many, uh, it's all permissions conditions, how far is it sound like that, okay, That's great and all, but I feel like I'm getting the, like, warranty thing for some program they used for this instead of being actually about the game. Cool. And I guess that was it. Alright, so, once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. So.